flash on. Let's see, so it looks like we have a blow up top. So look out, all right. Yep, I see it, yep. I'm just gonna check the wires here. So it looks like they're all intact. Um, nothing's loose out of the ordinary. Okay, it looks like the gas line is showing on. Nope. Let me check the spout here. Yep, it's on. Okay, I think uh, I'll just go and try it. Let me uh, put everything back together here. Okay, I am ready for work. So today we have the RealWear HMT1 wireless Android Bluetooth headset. Now this headset is designed for the service industry. So maybe you're a power plant operator, maybe you're a service technician for an oil and gas well, or maybe you're a health and food inspector where you have to inspect packages, food quality, scan barcodes. This device can do it for you with keeping your hands free. So in this video, we're going to talk about the device, the interface, and how all this works. I have this screencast using just a USB cable, and let's just show you how this works. So if I say, my programs, you can see all the applications I have, and there is accelerometers, so I can just move my head and it responds accordingly. So let's go ahead and go into web apps. Now right now, this is the company that makes it real well page up. As you can see, you can actually use a hard hat with this device, page down, page down, and you can see it's hands-free, page down, it's regularized. Yes, this is, uh, I believe it's IP65 rating or 68, not sure, but it's designed to be dropped about five feet. You can splash water on it. It's dust proof. Navigate home. Now, when I was using this device, I felt like this device was really helpful if I'm troubleshooting something. So my HVAC system is pretty old. It's about 20 years old and I was troubleshooting the transformer. So let me show you what I was doing, my files. Now I have a schematic of all these different types of furnaces. So select item three. You can see this is a very similar furnace to what I have. You have the blower, you have the exhaust vents up top the inlet and I kind of want to see how this works so let's go and zoom in here zoom level 5 and you can see all the components there you got the uh, switch the gas shutoff valve which is pretty important if you're servicing something um, you got your burners right down there zoom level 3 and I can see just basically where I need so let's say for example I want to look at the blower zoom level 4 freeze window and right there, I can just kind of look at it, do what I need to do, and then glance back at it. View next. Now, this is great for like wire schematics, so let's go and zoom in here. Zoom level five. So I can see all the traces. Zoom level four. So let's just focus on this switch here. Please window. Again, I can uh, use my DMM, check the different points to make sure I got continuity, and uh, keep going. Control window. Let's go and uh, look around here. Check out this one. Freeze window. Zoom level five. Navigate back. This one's on Android. You can sideload applications using this application. It's called the Realware Explorer. Uh, to sideload an app, you just download it from uh, the web page here, and you just drag it right there. It's a pretty easy interface, works pretty well. Also, if you're more familiar with coding, you can actually do a ADB push, which is kind of like a wireless method. It's more of a command prompt system, but it works pretty well. Uh, one thing to know is there's no onboard uh, app store. You have to use this application. And there is a companion app for iPhone and Android, but it's pretty limited just to uh, initialize the device and to input uh, 
information if you need to on your device. Overall, the packaging is pretty nice, comes with a nice soft hard case, and the instruction manual is not just some flimsy piece of paper, but an actual booklet, and it gives you all the operations of the device. Now, in terms of what you get with the device, you get the head unit, you get two batteries, you get a headband, and a USB cable slash charger. Now, not a lot of accessories are included, so I kind of wish for the price of the device, you get more accessories, but if you go on the website, you can get additional batteries, the LT modem, and you can get a little strap to place on like a hard hat or a ball cap. Now, the device does have an on-screen keyboard, so let me kind of show you that. My programs. Select item 15. Navigate back. YouTube. And you can see there's a mouse right here. Let's go in there, search. Mouse click. See if I get that. Mouse click. There you go. And now this is just a, a keyboard. I can just say Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. And you can see how that works. Navigate home. Now you can see they kind of updated the menu system. So you can do drivers, you can do downloads, photos, documents, and media. So navigate back. My media, as you can see, I have a whole list of videos right here. Uh, I'll just pick one, this is just music videos. Select item three. And you do have a bunch of options here. Video forward, video rewind, video pause, works pretty well. Um, again, this is designed for noisy environments, so around 90 to 100 decibels, you can still interact with this device. Navigate home. Uh, just from my experience working with it, works pretty well. I find it's most helpful if I'm troubleshooting, or if I just want to lounge around, have maybe documentation playing in the background. It's kind of up in my field of view, where I still can see stuff and do stuff while I have something playing. Okay, so let's talk about the connectivity. So this unit has Bluetooth, great for connecting wireless keyboards or even like a Bluetooth printer. You also have Wi-Fi and you also can get cellular connectivity through an attachment. It's like a little dongle thing. So if you need to be in a more rural area where you don't have Wi-Fi connectivity, you have cellular option. Well, do you remember those uh, old methods of transferring files to like an MP3 player back in the day, you have to connect the actual cable. Well, that's the same process for the RealWare headset here. There's actually two ports. There's a uh, one that's just a micro USB port and there's one that's USB type C. So for data transfer, I'm gonna use the micro USB, which is over here. Um, it's near the battery compartment. And one thing to note is if you wanna take the battery out, you actually have to twist to unlock and the battery just pops right out right here. Hey, all right, let's go and wrap up this video. I know it's a little long, but I had a lot of information to talk about this cool headset. All right, should I be going out in public with this thing? Probably not, but if you're a service technician, if you're a small business owner that needs to relay information to your technician quickly, and you feel like it's more valuable to have their hands free, and they can just be out on the job site without having to look back on a computer, this headset could definitely save some time. Now, in terms of the value, I believe this headset's around $1,000 and there's another model that's about $2,500. So it's a little bit pricey up for a cost, but for what it can do, service your technicians, give information out to them quickly, and back to the job site or to the site manager, this headset can do that pretty good. All right, so for my personal experience, I just use it to troubleshoot my HVAC system. I felt like I could see the schematics right there. I learned the commands fairly quickly and it did help out replacing a transformer. So I think for what it does, it works pretty well. Uh, one thing to note, it is a little pricey. This headset's about $1,000. They do have a new headset, which is about $2,500. So that's just something to consider, especially if you're like a new business owner and money's a little tight. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stick around if you guys like blow up backing. I got some new ones coming down the pipeline. 
a new model from Roblox, a new one from Ecovac. So those should be coming within a few months or so. Okay, so I'm just going to wave goodbye. Be safe out there. Adios.